Hi, I'm Sarah Hendricks, and this is our little dream shop, Lady and Larder. We are a small, actually tiny, cheese shop based here in Los Angeles, California, and we specialize in cheese and cured meat boards. We serve it with an, an array of fresh seasonal produce, dried fruit, nuts, olives, cornichon. We've always found that what's in season is what tastes best. The foundation of all great cheese boards is always the products you choose to put on it. So you always want to select a couple of cheeses. We work in odd numbers. We find those are visually pleasing. You always want to have a variety of texture and flavor. We always recommend getting something that's a safe bet for your crowd, which for most people is a good solid cheddar. Made with cow's milk, everyone loves cheddar, it's always a win. And then once you get your cheddar, you can add a couple more adventurous options like a funky blue cheese or a creamy goat cheese or even a sheep's milk cheese. Once you have your cheeses down, then you're gonna lay your cured meats. When selecting your meats, we go with the same golden rule, variety, taste, and texture. Get a couple of different size formats, larger, smaller, spicy, different flavor profiles, and then you'll have an array of items on the board once you get everything put together. Instead of laying all of your meats flat on the board, we like to take larger ones and fold them in a variety of different ways, which I'm gonna show you right now. With prosciutto, our larger cured meats, we like to make a little bit of what we call like a ribbon, and we run those just down the middle of the board, always keeping them airy and light and not too compacted. Next, when you're laying the smaller circular format salami, we lay the tiniest ones flat and overlapped, just like so, around the edges. They create a great border for your, for your platters or boards. And then with the stuff that's medium or large in size, is we like to fold those in a couple of different ways. The first way I'm gonna show you is just like a deck of cards. You fold them in half and arrange them in your hand like you're holding a hand of cards in a poker game. Another way that I'm gonna fold meats today is here like a flower. You fold them in half and then in half again, being careful, not to squish them together too much so that again, they stay nice and airy and light. We're gonna take all of the negative open space in the middle of the board and add the rest of the accoutrements. Accoutrements are all those delicious little things that pair well with your cheeses and meats. So your fruit, your nuts, your olives. And when it comes to laying out the accoutrements, we like to place things that pair well together near each other. Once the fresh fruit is laid, then we do the dried fruit followed by the nuts. Be sure not to put rolly things like olives and nuts at the edges so that when you're transferring it, they don't roll off. Once you have your board just how you want it, then you finish it with final touches and garnishes. Go ahead and head over to the herb section at your grocery store and grab flowering rosemary or thyme or edible flowers. Just make sure that everything that you place on your board is edible and safe to eat. Here at Lady & Larder, our signature garnish is usually a bit of wild chamomile. We love chamomile because it adds an extra whimsy touch when garnishing the boards. We have a golden cheese rule, and that is that you should always serve your cheese and cured meats at room temperature. So if you're getting ready to entertain at 6, pull your board out at 5 o'clock so that it has an hour to come up to room temp. And here we are, the finished board. If you are ever worried about getting invited back to an event or party, we recommend bringing one of these. This board will be the showstopper at Friendsgiving, game night, or any of your holiday events this year. Another one of our favorite things to make at the shop are cakes made out of cheese. You heard it, cheesecakes. People love to order these for their birthdays, gifts, weddings, baby showers, all of their big events. If you don't have a big sweet tooth, this is the cake for you. The most important part of selecting cheese for a cheesecake is that you select cheeses of different sizes. You want to ensure that the tiers get smaller as you build upwards. We recommend using bloomy rind softer cheeses. Those ones are all easy to break down and serve at home. Now for the fun part. We get to add all of the seasonal garnishes and fresh honeycomb. Right now it's fall so we're going to be using a variety of different things we found at the farmer's market including miniature apples, pomegranate, figs, and golden raspberries. Other options at different times of year include things like fresh citrus, viola flowers, you name it. Every time of year, there's something special that you can use to garnish a cheesecake. We love making these cakes because they bring joy to any celebration. Remember, there's no wrong way to do this. Just relax, have fun, and enjoy sharing these with your friends and family. Oh, yes!